New Stardew Valley update added a beach farm, but the only plant I've ever seen grow on the beach is seaweed. So my plan is to grow a mountain of seaweed and use it to summon the Kraken. I will ride the beast and take over the world. Don't tell me that isn't how the game works. We won't know unless I try. My character has been mathematically proven to be the coolest looking human possible. I will intimidate anyone who tries to stop me, and my soft inside personality will seduce everyone else. Since I'll be fighting sea monsters, I named myself Captain Jack Spar- Well, I guess just Spa then. My farm will eventually be based in the Bermuda Triangle, and my favourite thing is chaos. So get ready. Backstory time! Grandpa was a Kraken hunter once himself. He entrusted me with his offshore farm to finish what he started. Hurry up and die, I just want to play. Come on, skip the cutscene! After leaving our grandfather who sleeps in the middle of the room next to a fire, we get to our beautiful farm. Small note, I have never played this game. Also, I have never farmed in real life. I've also never talked to another human being directly. This is getting scary. So to cure this anxiety, I went straight to the bar. Where beer is more expensive than spaghetti. But can you blame them? They live in a country town. What is there even to do here other than get drunk and compete in the wife carrying Olympics? Inside the bar you'll find an arcade game, and 40 minutes into that I forgot that I was even playing a farming simulator. Come back here you son of a gun! You can't face the wrath of Captain Jack Spa! What? No! I was one hit away! God, I was so close. Hmm, I don't even like video games anyway, they're garbage. <gasps> Ocean! Finally! Here we go, on the beach, ready to start hunting for my sea beast. The sign says the fisherman will be back tomorrow. It's a shame lock picking isn't a skill in this game. I guess I should go talk to the townsfolk. Excuse me? This jacket is the finest whale leather. This isn't even legal to own. Here is an example of unattainable beauty expectations. Alright, this is Elliot without makeup. Then boom! <laughs> what happened? At least my character knows how to have fun. Just sit on the playground motionless. Waiting. Watching, planning the chaos that will unfold. <laughs> Alright, enough messing around. I went to sleep for the night and then went back to the fisherman's hut in the morning. And the fisherman gave me his wise advice. Wash my car and you will get karate kid moves. Have you seen my jacket? I already know karate. Fine, have this fishing rod. Oh, and also... With that subtle foreshadowing, I knew it was real. The kraken would be in my hands in no time. I would need to collect a lot of fish to summon it. Fish are rated like many things based on expensive ores. Basic gets no colour because third place is worthless, then silver and gold. Then purple! So, cabbage? After a while I got too tired. Years of office work deteriorated my muscles, so now I only have 270 energy points, which is 135 axe swings per day. I don't know if this is realistic because I've never been outside. So I went to sleep to replenish my energy. If you sleep before 12am, you regain full energy, but any later and you won't be completely recovered the next day. I don't know if this is realistic because I've never gone to sleep. I woke up to a letter in the mail. Visit Pierre's shop for a backpack. That would be so useful. I can't wet clothes on Wednesdays. Then why send me the mail? What? I will get you back for this, Pierre. Captain Spa does not take things lightly. So I did a bunch more fishing, went mining, chatted to some people, it was going quite well. Then I got a letter from Rasmodius the Wizard. What? I thought this was a farming simulator, not a fantasy. And so I travelled far into the night, looking for the Great Wizard's Tower. Also, while I was playing this part, I was listening to the Doom soundtrack in the background. So my experience here was a little uh, intense. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, we will send unto them only you. In short, I went on a heavy metal fuel drug overdose with the wizard. I did shrooms and can now read jungle speak. I do know this is realistic because I have been on a heavy metal fuel drug overdose with the wizard. It's weirdly accurate. I wanna go in the sewer! Yeah, I wish you were behind those bars too, bro. Wait, what? <laughs> I can handle whatever those kids thought was scary. Have you seen my jacket? Oh god, it's... It's a plate of raw scallops. Run! Before he gets here! It's raw! Tomorrow is the annual egg hunt. I'm going right back to sleep. I need 36 hours rest for this event. This is what I've always been waiting for. Okay, day of the festival. Oh damn, everyone is here. Oh, they're all being so nice. What a lovely community we have here. Ooh, time to start the race. Get the music back on. One, two, three. Let me get through, goddammit. No, come on, I need those eggs. And the winner is, here we go, Abigail. What the f- 
Nope, I take it all back. You aren't my friends. Kraken deaths for all of you. I can't believe I lost track of my goal. The Kraken will defeat them all. Wait, single? Can I date people in this game? I can. I can marry people too. Well, Elliot is obviously out of my league. Abigail has purple hair. An anime protagonist. I want her to be on my side. Okay, I just had an awful idea. I will court Abigail and convince her to love me, get married, then emotionally neglect her for years as revenge for winning the egg contest. Her father is Pierre. Double the revenge. I will also donate to the large corporation trying to buy his family-run store. I'm a bit worried that evil things like this aren't allowed on YouTube. I'm also a bit worried that my brain thought of it. Oh well, no use going to therapy, let's just commit technically legal atrocities. So, how do you convince a girl to like you? I'm sure most of you don't need this advice. People who watch gaming videos have this down. But my method is basically, I had people track her whereabouts at every hour of the day and put it into a spreadsheet. Stalked her down to give her the perfect gift, spoke to her once and then left. Repeat this every day, giving her more expensive gifts until she loves you. Who said romance is dead? I also gave gifts to every other single person in town in case this doesn't work out. Hope she doesn't mind. It's been like three days and I'm still not good enough friends to enter her room. How about now? Still? Excuse me, let me in the bedroom. I want to play RuneScape on your computer. Fine then. If a woman doesn't want my overbearing love, I've had it. Kraken time for you all. I, the great Captain Jack Spar, summoned thee into this world. Wreak chaos upon it. Huh. Nothing's happening. Kind of a good thing actually, I haven't leveled combat, I've just been fishing. Wait, what's that noise? Oh no, the Kraken has awoken, it's real! But it seems to not attack anyone other than me, what's with that? I spent the game murdering thousands of fish! Oh yeah, maybe that's why. How do I kill this thing? Weaknesses, the Kraken is not immortal. I, I mean that's good, but does that count as a weakness? After days of battle, I finally slowly killed the beast. The people of the town were overjoyed and accepted me into their community. I don't know if this is realistic. I've never done anything good before.